Hey guys, thank you for joining. During this tutorial, we will explain to you how to create an effective reporting system with Agelix BI data visualization platform. We'll guide you through every step from uploading data to sharing reports so you can make the most out of our platform. Step 1 Dataset Upload To create a report, first, you need to upload a dataset. It can be either an Excel or CSV file. Make sure to format the file according to our guides that you can find on agelix.com support. Once you have the file, go to the datasets page. This is where you can find all the files you've uploaded. Click on Upload Dataset. Finish the uploading process by giving a name to your dataset and choosing the file from your computer storage. Click Submit. If the upload was successful, you'll see a green notification, dataset added successfully. If not, there will be a red notification warning that the upload wasn't successful. Please try again. If the problem persists, please contact Agelix team via email, support at agelix.com. Step 2. Create a report. Once you have uploaded the file, you can manage it on the datasets page. Here you can edit the file if you need to add fresh data to the existing file. You can see the Create Report button. Click on it and you'll be transferred to the Report Setup page. Give the name to your report and then choose the dataset that you want to use for reporting. In the last step, you can pick the report template or start from blank. Choose Create Report and you'll see the notification that the report was created successfully. Click Edit Report and you will be taken to the editor. Now you'll finally see the Report Editor view. On the left side, you can see the editor where you can add elements, set up charts, and customize the report. On the right side, you'll see the editing preview. Now let's add the first element, the heading. On the right side, you can see that element is added to the preview mode, and on the left side, additional editing settings appear. Change the title and the alignment. Pick the background and title color on the editor. To change the size of the element, simply drag the element by the right bottom corner. Now let's add another element. Go to Add Element section and pick the column bar chart. Let's connect the chart with your dataset. Go to the Categories drop-down menu. You will see all the columns that you have in the file. Pick one column that will be Categories. You can also filter specific rows to visualize sales only for the first two months. Now go to the Data Fields and press Add Field. From the drop-down menu, pick the values you want to measure, for example, profit, and choose calculation sum or any other calculation you want to see. You can add additional filters to the chart if you want. Sort your chart in ascending or descending order. You can also add comments to this chart to explain specific data points or give your conclusions. You can also ask AI to explain this chart. Adjust the size of the chart and move on to the next element. Rearrange the charts by drag and drop functionality. Duplicate the charts or delete them by using the controls on the right top corner. Customize your report at a more advanced level. In the Report Settings section, you can change the name of your report and add a background image or color. Here you can also add a link to your logo that will display when you share the report to others. Step 4 Saving and Sharing Once your report is ready, click Save. If you can't save the report, it means you are using our freemium plan. To unlock premium features and become our business plan subscriber, go to agelix.com slash pricing to learn more. Once you've saved the report, press view to see the report in full size as the view in editor can differ from the final view. Click the share button to share the report with other users. Here you'll see sharing settings. 
Agelix BI offers three sharing options. One, share a report using a private link. To use this link, first add the user via email address here and then copy the link and send it to your colleague. Don't share this link with users who don't have an Agelix account. Two, share a report using a public link. Anyone with a link will be able to view the report. To share the report, choose the drop-down menu and click anyone with a link. Copy the new link. You can also set the password for more security. Input your password here and click save password. Every time someone wants to access the report, they will have to enter the password. Once they enter it, they will see the report. 3. Add viewers via email. The report will show up on their dashboard, however, they will have to create a free account with Agelix. Simply add email address and choose the role, editor or viewer. Click share. Here you'll see all the users you've added to reports. Please note that all editors have to be business subscribers. If you want to add several business users, contact Agelix to get a bulk discount. The right tools to get the job done. Agelix, data visualization made fast and easy for busy people. Register and start creating on agelix.com. Did you find this tutorial helpful? Let us know in the comments.